And it's drizzled with some mango puree on top. A few days ago, we welcomed ourselves back to the east coast of peninsular Malaysia in the beautiful state of Pahang, where we explored the city of Kuantan. The must-eats as per Kuantan locals. Sure, this impale these seven pieces of udang here. Is it perfectly crispy enough? You can eat the whole thing. You can eat the shell, you can eat the tail, the head. I think Tupuya is one of the best things I've eaten here in Malaysia. I say this every episode, but that's how much great food there is here. And not to be missed eats per local tourists. You know, we don't always eat cheesecake, but we love mango. Also, during our short yet memorable stay in Kuantan City, we also got to see our YouTube friends, met new friends, and went on an adventure. So stick around as we bring you on what's what in this beautiful coastal city, Kuantan. We are finally here in Kuantan and a lot of people are telling us to come here. We are finally having, after all that, thousands of nasi kandar and char kway teow. We are finally on seafood diet. We are at Warung Paksu Dan Maksu. This place is packed with locals. It, it's like, it reminds me of Warung Poknong in Kuala Terengganu. The reason why we're having seafood, it's because there's just a lot of seafood in this area. And I'm so happy and can't wait to have a feast. Here. So we are in Pahang on the coastal side. So we, we've been dying to come back to the East Coast. We loved it in Serengano, Kalantan. So these are really like a lot of the greatest seafood hits we had in Serengano. We have the chilup tepong sopong, we have the udang chilup tepong. So we have the fried squid, fried shrimp, with the nasi dagang, which we also really enjoyed. This one looks a little different. And we also got these lovely ones here, the sata that we love. We have the pulut panggang, sticky rice that's filled with minced fish. And we got something really excited about. As much as we love otak otak, you've seen us eat it few places, mostly Nyonya style. It's the first time we're having it in the East Coast. It's wrapped up in this leaf. This nice parcel of fish. It looks very different. This one looks chunkier, it looks more orange than the Nyonya ones we've had. I don't even know where to start. I think, actually I do know where to start. I'll try this otak otak. I'm really curious about it. It smells really aromatic, fragrant. Whoa. You really taste the coconut. It doesn't have the coconut milk flavor, it's more like actual piece of shredded coconut here. You could take you could feel the crunchiness of the texture. Got spice to it. Wow. It's very different than otak otak we had. It doesn't have that kind of creamy, smooth texture. This one's more chunky. Wow. I love it. Definitely on the sweet side, but a little bit of spice in there too. A lot of flavor, man. Incredible. And, and we love our sata. It's the minced fish, coconut wrapped up in the leaf here. Grilled. Let's take a bite. I miss this a little bit. It also got a little sweetness to it. The fish is more muted. Got that lovely coconut in there. Let's have the sotong chalap tepong, the fried squid. I love the breading they use, so crispy. Leave you all the crispy bits too. It's fried so perfectly. You could eat these little leftover flour pieces like chips. Nasi dagang here. The rice with the achar, the pickle of veggie on the side. The fish and the rice, the coconut rice. I'm gonna take a scoop. It's like this with the rice first, it's doused in the fish gravy. Mm. That's good. All of them spicy or sweet. Definitely taste the fish. Quite nice, very different than what we had in Serengano. It's not that red, sweet, spicy kind of gravy. This one's definitely more heavy on the fish side. This one's actually not seafood, but it's a very famous dish. A lot of you have been telling us to try it. Ketupat. 
as well. So it's got this nice wrapping here. It's just, it's just some rice. It's just sticky, glutinous rice with the coconut milk. A nice, strong coconut milk flavor. A slight bit of sweetness. I love the texture of the glutinous rice. It's a great little side to have. Reminds us a lot of the lamang that we had around Hari Raya time. Last but certainly not least here is the udang. It's the fried prawns. We've got the head on, everything. Love that they give you seven pieces of prawn on this skewer. They just impale these seven pieces of udang here. Fried perfectly. Very fresh, very clean taste. These are perfectly crispy enough you can eat the whole thing. You can eat the shell, you can eat the tail, eat the head. We're at Ding Hao Kedai Kopi or a coffee kopi tiam. I have the dry curry meat, so it's see separated. There's noodles and the soup is here, while Greg has the soup curry meat. I like my noodles dry. Mm. Wow. It's not too salty. It's just perfect amount of soy. The texture of the noodles is just like perfect or like al dente. Okay, so Kwantan has several spots for curry meat that are supposed to be well known, but I read a lot about this one, and this one's supposed to have a very rich one. It already looks like it just from first glance. And I love the vibe of this place. It's that old school Kopi Town vibe here, like classic. So I'm just gonna get right into this. The broth looks quite heavy on the coconut milk, which is nice, and it also has like the little orange droplets here. It's a very nice, rich looking broth. Let me take a sip of that first. Mmm, spicy. You like a spicy curry meat like I do? This is great. Mm. It's got the pieces of young tofu in here too. So you have the okra young tofu. You have this fried one here. A piece of tofu. That tofu soaking up all that curry. Add some of this. Looks like some sambal balachan, but let's, let's see. Maybe. I'm not sure if this sum up doesn't have a really fishy taste to it, but it's gonna add some nice umami to it. As if it already wasn't spicy enough, I'm gonna make it a little spicier here. We're here on a Sunday, it's packed full of locals. It's a rainy Sunday too, so actually it's perfect weather for this curry meat. We're here at Mabik 2, just outside the center of Kwantan City. And just across the river, the neighborhood is Tanjung Lumpur. It's a fishing village. Right now, we are having patin. Why not? If you're in a fishing village, of course, you gotta have patin, right? Patin is a fish. This is a very, very busy place. It's actually lunchtime and a lot of people are just grabbing their food and just go. And I'm so hungry. So we're here to eat the most famous dish in Pahang State. It's ikan patin tempoyak. So ikan patin means silver catfish. So it's a freshwater fish, very famous here in Pahang. And we got it two ways. So this spot, Mabik 2, they're actually also known for the paye style. So this is the ikan patin, the sofa catfish, it's uh, brushed with a thicker tempoyak. So tempoyak is the fermented durian paste. So it's brushed with it and it's wrapped in banana leaf and grilled. So that's something special, we never tried it. But all week we've been eating ikan patin tempoyak. It's so good, love it. We got the paella, two, two styles here. So we have the ekor, the tail. It was out of the bala and the body. So I think the tail is calling my name. I gotta try this first. But I love the, the meat of this fish is just so soft. You, barely have to pull it off the bone. Let's scoop it up with some of the tempoya. Oh my god. 
I think Tupuyak's one of the best things I've eaten here in Malaysia. I say this every episode, but that's how much great food there is here. I love the thicker version. It's actually like we ate in Terengganu. Mm. You get a nice char, and you get that nice aroma from the banana leaf in here as well. And even though it's a freshwater fish, it tastes very clean. It doesn't have that kind of muddy flavor you might get with other freshwater fish. Whoever created Tupuyak, the fermented durian, is an absolute genius. I'd like to meet you one day if you're still around. <laughs> Man, it is a magical combination. So you also got here the gulai tempoyak. So that's the sauce. You can see it's more liquidy, more of the soupier fermented durian sauce. You see there's a lot of red chili flakes in there too. It's gonna have some spice. Oh, let's, let's get in here. It's again, that really soft meat in this ikan patin. Look at that. We're gonna get a nice scoop of the meat with that tempoyak sauce. Make it more like a broth. Mm. This one definitely has a nice kick to it. Not as strong on the durian flavor as compared to the paste and the paella version. All still quite delicious. It really depends on your style. I think of, out of the two, I think I like this one even better. They're both delicious, but that thick paste that char flavor, that banana leaf, all that aroma in here is absolutely incredible. What we're really excited to find here is the Masak Lamak Chili Api. That's really one of our favorite dishes we eat in Malaysia. We saw our Kajang video, put a car up here. We went to the famous Itik Salai Mastar. Uh, but this one we have the Daging Salai, the smoked beef. And we have Ayam Salai, the smoked chicken. And the Masak Lamak, so it's the beautiful yellow gravy here. It has the coconut milk, the turmeric, big stalks of lemongrass in here. Really one of the best dishes in Malaysia, we think. Try a bite of this daging salai masak lemak. Mm. The combo is just phenomenal. Full of flavor, that turmeric, the coconut milk, the lemongrass, that smoked beef. Flavor explosion, absolutely incredible. Also, we have to get here is the fresh ulam or the fresh vegetable here. And with that buru, great way to get your veggies. You gotta have your veggies in a meal like this. Most of the time, the fish on the land, they eat wet only. Actually, this it is, is a crab house. Wow. But you can see the, the whole small, so small crab. This time we cannot eat. Ah, uh, crab house, yes. Sausage. Already has a big part grilled right there. This is one of the best. Dessert. Additional proof. It's a nice How many together? One ton Malaysia. What a lovely 
Ah, uh, you were recording us? Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sneak attack! <laughs>
it's worth it but in a place where mango is heavily like everywhere all over the place mm, I don't know but if you're here in Kuantan and you want to try it for yourself and if you want to come here it is good So we got this cool outdoor space here. It's one of the benefits of coming to Kula Cake. You have, have your cheesecake, all the snacks outside. And what do we have here? Make sure you bring your cheesecakes with your friends. Got travel grammars. Got jet lag warriors in the building. Where's Jimmy? Very nice chill out place. Bicycles hanging on the walls. Very Instagrammable. 